In this video, I'm going to show you how to work the Make 3 Below or M3B increase that I use in my 30 round Rasta hat. And it's used in other patterns as well, I'm sure, but this is a rather unusual stitch that you're not going to see all the time. So, and it's much easier shown than it is described. So I'm going to read you the steps as they're outlined in the pattern and then show you how to actually do that on the, uh, on my knitting. So the first part of the instructions, I've kind of made the the lace pattern as it is so far, gotten up to the point in the in the chart where I need to actually make this make 3B or make M3B or make 3 below stitch. So the first step says to insert the right hand needle under the third purl bump under the next stitch on the left hand needle. So you can see how hard this is to describe. But basically what I'm talking about is this is the next stitch on the left hand needle. And as you can see, there are one, two, three purl bumps underneath it. What I need to do is take my right hand needle and just poke through the fabric right underneath that third purl bump. So you can see there's one, two, three purl bumps, and I poke the right hand needle through the fabric underneath that third purl bump. Wrap a loop around the right hand needle and pull it through. Now the second step says to insert the right hand needle under the first purl bump under the next stitch on the left hand needle. Pull a loop of working yarn through this hole. So again, I'm just going to poke my right hand needle through, but this time I'm going to do it underneath the first purl bump underneath that next stitch on the left hand needle. So there's the first purl bump right there. I'm just going to poke the right hand needle right underneath that and through the fabric. And again, wrap the yarn around and pull a loop through. The third step says to repeat step one. So all I'm going to do is go back to that first place I went into, underneath the third purl bump, poke through, wrap, and pull through. So now you can see I've got three new loops on the needle. For the fourth step, it says to let the next stitch on the left hand needle drop off the needle. Two stitches have been increased. So all this means is that stitch I've been working under the whole time, I just let that pop off the left hand needle. And you can go ahead and kind of let that fall out. It's not going to do any damage. It's just going to let all this loosen up. So basically I let one stitch go, but I made three. So that means that you have increased by two stitches. And later on you'll get rid of some of those stitches, but that's, that's another part of the pattern. So let's see how to do that again. I'll get to that place in the pattern. So here we are. So step one of the M3B, I go one, two, three purl bumps down, poke through the fabric, wrap the needle, pull a loop through. Step two, poke under the first purl bump and pull through. Last step, go back in the original hole that I first went into, you can just see where that loop is coming out of. Just go right back into that hole. Oops, don't drop your stitch. And pull through, and then let that stitch fall off the left hand needle. And that's how you work the M3B.